This gimbal is low down and ornery. That's what Huck Finn would say at least. I'm author Gwen Elise Clayton and I got to play Mark Twain this weekend. My husband Eddie and I sailed aboard the Belle of Cincinnati, the flagship vessel from BB Riverboats based out of Newport, Kentucky. We got to take their two hour lunch cruise this Saturday, but plot twists abound. The DJI OM5 gimbal that I talked about in last week's video kept making my phone overheat and shut down. It was 90 degrees in Ashland, Kentucky on Saturday and there was a heat advisory and the motors and the magnet from the gimbal kept making my phone overheat. I don't know the science behind it. All I know is that Eddie was shooting handheld and he didn't have a problem. And once I finally took my phone off the gimbal, then I could shoot video normally too. So anyhow, I didn't get the story I wanted to get because my gimbal wouldn't cooperate. That was the big plot twist. Also, Eddie is able-bodied and the captain's desk was only accessible by stairs, which my bum knees won't accommodate. So fortunately, he was able to get some footage from up there as well. Nonetheless, we ended up getting some pretty nice clips that I think will make into an interesting sequence. Now, let me try to invoke the spirit of Samuel Langhorn Clemens and do some storytelling for you. Long about one Saturday afternoon in the sweltering heat of a Kentucky July, my beau and I took the opportunity to squirrel aboard the riverboat Belle of Cincinnati. We were might impressed by the Victorian decor and felt rather comfortable in the air-conditioned dining room where we had a nice lunch with the other guests. Eddie and I don't dress up very often, but I put on my finest polka dot dress and a string of faux pearls and wore a wide brimmed straw hat because I knew the summer heat was going to give me the vapors and take away my ladylike composure. And we can't have that now, can we? Lunch was fabulous, of course. We had mashed potatoes, steamed vegetables, or were they sauteed? They might have been sauteed or maybe they were grilled. I don't know. We had vegetables and barbecued chicken and short ribs with gravy. And of course, my favorite part, dessert, was cheesecake with strawberry drizzle. But let's be honest, we all know the great American storyteller was a whiskey man, and it wouldn't be a proper homage to him if we didn't imbibe in a little something that would give us the what for from Witta Douglas. So I, chose a tasty punch with a little bit of liquor in it. And Eddie had his signature Mountain Dew, but I sweet talked him into getting a daiquiri just to party with me a little bit. After lunch, we braved the heat to take in the sights of the Ohio River. Our tour started in Ashland, like I said before, about a four hour drive from the girlhood home of Jane Lampton Clemens, who was the mother of Samuel Langhorn Clemens, popularly known as the writer Mark Twain. The first leg of the tour got us out as far as Huntington, West Virginia, before turning around and heading back home. Throughout the journey, we were privy to the lush foliage lining the banks of the Ohio River. We also got to see the barges jockeying for space along the riverway, as well as many industrial sites that keep our fair country running. Playing throughout the sound system were popular songs by contemporary musical artists of all different genres to give the experience a quote unquote party vibe, as you nowadays folks like to say. All in all, it was a happy time, despite the wretched heat and my bum knees. There's just something about riding out the day's events, the river, 
Oh, come on, I'm a Gen Xer. You can't expect me to not quote the Rush song when I'm talking about Riverboat and Tom Sawyer. If you liked my little story, please give it the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Rivervine YouTube channel if you like digital storytelling. I'm your host, Gwen Elise Clayton. I drop videos every Tuesday evening and I will post a link to BB Riverboats in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.